Prime customers can enjoy a day of big savings during the upcoming Amazon Prime Day. Be a bargain hunter's dream. There's Amazon Prime Day. Amazon Prime Day is kicking off right now. Adobe Analytics predicts more than $1.13 billion we spent. Alexa, what's today? July 11th, 2023, Prime Day. Stuck in traffic. Say hi, Jay. Guys, if you still have a speed in the factory, come back. You guys are incredible at this. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Prime Week. One of the worst weeks to be an Amazon driver. All right, so I'm doing my vehicle inspection. This is when Amazon decides your fate, where you have 100 stops or 200 stops. 156 stops. Not too bad. A little sweaty, it's hot, but this is what we're rocking with. 155 stops, but we have a ton of packages, 351 packages. For that amount of stops, it's um, pretty high. My first stop, seven packages. I feel like that's what it's gonna be like all day. One house getting five to ten packages. Anyways, this is what we're rocking with. We got a lot of totes, as you can see. It's more than usual. How many do we have? Let me count. One, two, three, twenty. Twenty totes, and I forgot to check the overflow, but there's a good amount, maybe like thirty or forty. Got a big couch right here. Uh, yoga mat right here. Uh, the area we're doing is probably going to be mostly houses, so it's going to be drop and go. It's a dog! I always like to get the picture of the dog. <laughs> Smile! There you go. So for those who don't know what Prime Day is, Prime Day is essentially the Black Friday for Amazon. It happens early to mid-July and it's probably the worst day to be an Amazon driver or associate. The deals they have on the website, a lot of them are just a lot of trash, a lot of inventory they're trying to get rid of. But there are definitely a few gems in there. I just wanted to take a look and see what they have and I end up buying a, a drone. <laughs> I've been looking at that drone and it costs like $900 and then I got it for $600. So it's worth it I guess. Hopefully more drone footage for you guys if there's time. But essentially it's like Black Friday, Christmas all over again. But this time it's in the summer. Man this heat is really getting to me. For the customers Prime Day is only two days. But for associates Prime Day is more like a week, a week and a half, maybe two. The volume at the warehouse sits around like $35,000 a night. That's how many packages go through sort. The first day wasn't too bad, people are still ordering, but the second day, it went rose up to like maybe like 65,000, 60, crazy right? So our team is at full force, we usually do 20 routes a day, but now we're doing 25, 27, and I'm sure we have a lot of flex drivers as well. I didn't know what to expect being my first Prime Day, but you know, I always prepare for the worst and hope for the best.
Jersey Mike's Catering is a sandwich place. Let's see what we got. Doritos, Blue Ranch, Cool Ranch, a sugar cookie. It's like half melted because it's so hot. <laughs> Today is like 95 degrees. That's as hot as it usually gets here in Jersey. And the sandwich. Looks like we got turkey. Some sort of turkey. I'm gonna eat it now because um, it gets a little hot in this truck. <laughs> and since it's so hot, I'm in the tank top and I got my headband and sunglasses. Always come prepared. I got like this nasty farmer's tan. See, I'm like white here. I'm like tannish here. So we're trying to fix that. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? Amazon has this option when you order a lot of stuff. You can have your packages delivered in like one box or you can get your packages as soon as possible. I'm like 99% sure everyone chooses to get their packages as soon as possible. And this is the result. You get the most boxes. And I'm tired of it. You guys are slowly killing Amazon drivers. Four packages next door too. Man, guys, it's so cold in here. So nice. What? Please sign this for Jackie. She's in the hospital. Hope. Chris. There you go. I got you. Hope you get better, Jackie. Looks like they got puzzle pieces, books. Whew, it's just nice and cold in here. Maybe it's time to take my five minute break. <laughs> Oh yeah, and for all the new hires that saw me at Loadout, there's a couple of you guys. I think there's like five of you. Welcome to Amazon. <laughs> yeah, you guys pretty much came at the worst week, so um, I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, if you guys survived this week, you can survive any week. So push on through, and hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. And yeah, I know you're doing your three-day training here. Um, you'll probably learn more about Amazon and delivery from my videos and the training but the training does go in depth with the all that boring stuff so make sure you pay attention this one tote is 13 packages goes to two houses rip some drivers will just actually give you a free tote if you order this many packages and this is what sucks about the Amazon app so I had a delivery to a front door to one customer and someone else in the family linked their account to the garage so I gotta leave this one in the garage please deliver all packages to the front door what they're confusing me now <laughs> no <sighs> you get in your garage right now I'm getting a rescue my man Daryl what's up <laughs> just one stop Six couches, like ch couch chairs. No. I, I'm, I'm ringing the doorbell, I'm like, I'm gonna get a tip out of this one. <laughs> the lady came to the door, I'm like, oh, how many more you got? I was like, no, it's just that. She's like, okay, thank you. Peace. What? I delivered four small packages. Guess how much I got tipped? What? $20. I was like, lit. <laughs> they were like 40 pounds each. I'm like, lady. Like, <laughs> Dude, that's the worst. When you deliver to like a house and it's like six Fiji bottled water. Yes, yes. <laughs> The bottled water is the worst. Because they worst. always order more than one. Every time. Every time. Two minimum. <laughs> they're like 40 pound packages. So shout out to Daryl for rescuing me. I didn't really need the rescue. But I guess my dispatcher wants to go home early. So. Because I was pretty much almost done. I only had like 20 stops left. So yeah, that was like the first time I got rescued here at the CSP. You know, I always look around my videos. But <laughs> I put in the work, guys. I put in the work. The tip I got yesterday, it's pretty unexpected, but it's always nice to get tipped. That's like the biggest tip I got here at Amazon. So last time, the bulldog attacked my shoelace, so I gotta be careful. Oh, the bulldog's inside. It's only the smaller one. Hey, buddy. Are you gonna attack me? Don't attack me. Be friendly. 
Hey. Ugh, there you go. Pectures, hey. Hey, buddy. Say cheese. <laughs> the bulldog. Hey. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. No worries. Hey, buddy. Hey, sit. <laughs> All right, let's go. Go home. <laughs> you didn't attack me this time. Oh man, what time is it? I must have passed out from the heat stroke or something. But it looks like my route's been done, so it's all good. On a more serious note, make sure you guys always stay hydrated. You see, I had my big gulp. I got two bottles of water and I got my big bottle of water right here. It's very important. You don't want to get heat stroke. You don't want to pass out while doing a route. But yeah, I guess we're done. It's time to head back to the station. Yeah, so this whole warehouse is being used right now for prime day, prime week. Usually only a small portion of it is being used. But now you can see all the bags are set up for the night shift. Alright guys, that's it for the video. I did do an outro for that day, but I've been testing this new camera. And instead of taking an outro video, it took a photo. <laughs> and if you notice, there's some vertical videos in this video. Because, um, like I said, new camera, testing it out. Hope you guys like it. Won't make those mistakes again. Prime week, prime day, whatever you want to call it, wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It was actually easier than some other weeks where I get 190 stops, 188 stops. This week I was only sitting around 150 stops, 130 stops, which is on the low side. We just had a lot of packages. But that's not to say that you guys didn't have rough. I'm always scrolling through the subreddit for the Amazon drivers and I'm gonna post some pics right here of what you guys got. I guess I got lucky at my station. Your station might not be so lucky. I'm assuming we had a lot of flex drivers, a lot of drivers to um, minimize the work. But yeah, I wish I could say it was really bad. I was ready for 200 plus stops, but it just wasn't the case. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Later.